Body Language Basics Body language is one of the many ways that we humans communicate. But while most people pay attention to words and actions, body language is rarely given attention to. What we say sometimes can be very different from our body language. We may sound happy, but our body language says otherwise. And according to experts, our body language takes up half of the way we communicate. Figuring out how to peruse nonverbal communication viably can enable us to comprehend what somebody is attempting to express, if they are comfortable with the choices they make, and if they are genuine about them. We also learn to communicate our messages effectively when we learn to read body language. It goes beyond just what words can put meaning into. How common is body language in communication? Believe it or not, but body language takes up 55% of our daily communication. However, analyzing nonverbal cues isn't focused on just the broad strokes. These gestures indicate various things, and it depends entirely on context. Nonverbal cues are extremely crucial when trying to read someone because in many ways, you can detect if someone is lying or if they are enjoying a date or how they are as a person when they come in for a job interview. It is tied with finding some hidden meaning to decipher nonverbal communication precisely so you know whether the individual's words are expressing how they really feel. Unfortunately, we humans are more inclined to lie than to tell the truth for plenty of reasons, such as avoiding conflict, trying to impress someone, and so on. Sometimes we end up lying more than once in a short span of time, and while they may necessarily not be big lies, we end up doing it anyway. We end up willingly partaking in deception because we rather hear a sweet lie than the bitter truth. In any case, nonverbal communication isn't as misleading as words. Our bodies are horrendous liars. What is body language? It is our body's physical, nonverbal communication approach that is sometimes in sync with the words that are coming out of our mouth. Body language can be anything from a stance, an eye glance, a quick facial expression, and even the biting of our lip. You may have seen how some people speak very animatedly and they use mostly their hands to convey or emphasize their words. There are a lot of hand talkers who keep their hands in a steady movement to pass on their point, stress on information, or just to keep the conversation going. This gesture and many other forms of body language often speak volumes. Make an observation of how a person's body language is. A. When they speak. Do they have slumped shoulders? Is their back rounded with their head hanging down? This could indicate that they are either shy or sad. B. When you see a person walking into a room to address a team or a company. Do they carry themselves stably? Do they have their head at eye level or held high? This can be interpreted as arrogance or confidence. C. When you need to talk to someone. Do they have their arms folded across their chest? Do they have their legs crossed? Are they glancing around or sighing? This could be understood as an unfriendly stance, or they are not open to what you have to say, defensive or standoffish. It is truly fascinating what body language can do and how much we can perceive from it. Aside from being able to utilize it in judging the mood a person is in or their attitude, you can also make and create better relationships simply by observing them. These nonverbal communication gateways help create a deeper sense of bonding. Body Language Basics Your main goal when it comes to reading body language is to determine if a person is comfortable in the situation that they are currently in. Once you have established this, the next thing is to process the context that they are in and look at other cues. Of course, this is easier said than done, so we will go into the specifics in following chapters. Here are some common denominators for positive body language. Extended periods of eye contact. Feeling at ease. Looking down and away out of shyness. Moving or leaning closer to you. Relaxed, uncrossed limbs. Genuine smiles. Here are some common denominators for negative body language. Feet pointed away from you or towards an exit. The feeling of unease. Looking away to the side. Moving or leaning away from you. 
rubbing or scratching their nose, eyes, or the back of their neck. Crossed arms or legs. One body cue can mean plenty of different things. While crossed arms can be construed as a negative nonverbal communication, it can likewise propose that an individual is feeling chilly, awkward, disappointed, or closed off. When understanding somebody, it is pivotal to focus on a few prompts since one's demeanor can be deceiving. It is a must to look deeper to understand what is really going on, and this means focusing on cues and also the context it is in. Here are some common body language categories. Body language categories. Body language can be separated into general classifications. One, aggressive, threatening body language. Two, attentiveness. This shows that you are interested and engaged. Three, bored. This is the complete reverse of attentiveness, and it is usually represented by not making enough eye contact and constant yawning. Four, closed. This is when someone shuts you off and is often shown having crossed arms and standing far away. Five, deceptiveness. This is usually portrayed when a person wants to get away with a lie and displays nervous behavior, guilty, and worry. Six, defensiveness. This person who is defensive can look like they are protecting or withholding information. Seven, dominant. Dominant body language is used when someone wants to be in command and they usually stand tall with their chest puffed out. Eight, emotional. When a person is emotional, they are greatly influenced by their current emotions and usually have varying moods. Nine, evaluation. A person portrays a sense of evaluation and settling on a choice without second thoughts. 10. Greeting. It happens when two people first come into contact. 11. Open. This is, of course, welcoming and accepting. 12. Ready. It tells people that you are open, willing, and prepared. 13. Content and relaxed. This can be portrayed by a calm, happy and restful demeanor. 14. Passionate. This is often a romantic body language that expresses attraction and is flirty. 15. Submissive. This shows off the relenting side. The body language described above is usually commonly communicated through a combination of postures and poses and is not singular to one. Again, a wide range of body positions has altogether unique importance, relying upon the specific situation, the circumstance, and the social foundation. Take, for example, the pose of crossing your arms. In a meeting situation, this can be construed as simply someone being serious and focused. It is extremely crucial to take context into consideration, and if you want to learn how to analyze people, then you need to have a heightened sense of awareness of how your body acts and what it is saying when you talk to the people around you. Keeping these tips in mind will help increase your communication and comprehension skills, thus opening a more effective line of communication with your team, your partner, children, and friends.